Audi, really, really good to see you again. Um, how are you? How are you? How is life treating you? I am very well, very well. Life has been good, has been good. Um, uh, yeah, enjoying being home, enjoying Holland. This is the longest, um, the longest that I've been in Holland uh, since I've been married. So I'm really enjoying it. Uh, just trying to take it all in and uh, enjoying every step. And I'm sure there'll be Glasgow City fans who want to know, and, and those who don't, you're retired in the summer. Um, a decision that's not always easy to come to, but how is retired life treating you? And, and what was the decision? Why, why did you come to the decision? Uh, the retired life is absolutely amazing. Going way better than what I thought. <laughs> like, I honestly thought I would, like, miss, you know, miss the heart pumping every day, miss, miss soccer in general. But I, I actually don't. Uh, I just think, I think, um, well, the decision to retire, my husband and I, we've been talking about it for a few years uh, and we had sort of like an idea and a goal that around this time of, of my age, of my career, that I will be looking to um, to calm down and take a step back. And, um, and you know, I had... Uh, uh, you know, one of because one of the reasons why I was still playing uh, this year, I was trying to aim for the World Cup for that to be kind of like my last dance. That unfortunately was not in the play for me. And, you know, South Africa did extremely well. And uh, I just didn't see any more purpose for me to continue playing, um, you know, because the next thing is the Olympics. I just I just felt like, you know, my heart was just ready to to step back and to to, because there's a lot more in life. There's a lot more to life than football. And I wanted to to see what else is out there for me personally and what else is out there in life for me to to take the next step to the next journey of exploring other things. And you are doing some things at the moment. You're doing a bit of writing, a bit of interviewing and stuff. For the people who haven't seen it yet, what, what is it you've been up to since retirement? So while I was playing, I've always been for a couple of years. I've been working on this website. It's uh, an uh, and logo. It's called and she plays. So my purpose of it is to build a women's soccer community, and uh, where like girls that are playing or that are aspiring to play, uh, that they can get some inspiration, that they can learn from my mistakes of my career. So I write, I write a little bit about my career. You know, some mistakes I made. Um, and uh, some, um, you know, some of the things that helped me before I turned pro and also give some advice in terms of like agency and things like that. I have a few of those topics in the future still to write. And I'm also like interviewing um, current pro players to hear about their journey, you know. Now, we are going to be here to talk about Black History Month. But before we go into that, I'm sure the Glasgow City fans will want to know now that you have retired and you can sort of look back over your career you had a really successful time at Glasgow City. You seem to love it there. Looking back, what did Glasgow City mean to you as a, as a club and, and how do you look back in your time at Glasgow City? Yeah, no, uh, I mean, one of the things I loved about Glasgow City is that it stood on its own. You know, it wasn't like, uh, and there's very few women's teams in the world that can stand on its own. And that takes like a lot of work. And, and you know, Laura and, um, and Cass, you know, have been, working so hard in like developing a community and an environment that fosters girls, you know, and that, um, you know, pushes uh, professionalism, you know, just to the next level. And it's just, it, it's inspiring to see like a team standing on its own without having like a men's side that is supporting it. As I say, we wanted to we'll touch on Black History Month this month and we've spoke to a few players who've, you know, within Glasgow City, still in your play that's been with Glasgow City and left, but what does Black History Month mean to you, Odie? What what is it about for you? What what, what does it represent? Uh, I think for me as a black person, it's just that like, you know, to um just to remind people that we're there, you know. I think one of the one of the the there are many things, you know, the, you know, the work culture that arise and things like that. One of the things that it did, you know, in terms of is just like to remind people that, hey, black people are there. We do exist and and we can contribute positively, you know, to to society. And we have contributed possibly positively to society. So it's just remembering the you know, the black people in the past that have contributed massive, massively to society, to countries, to, you know, to the civilization. And also in the future, because now I love, because they are, 
you know, right now, like I feel like when, when, for example, when people are creating shows and series, they're trying to keep in mind to to make it more diverse. And for me, like to watch a successful show be diverse, it's just like it's it just it just makes me smile because I'm like, hey, there's a black person in a successful show, you know. Whereas like in the past, like growing up, there were a lot of successful shows that didn't have black people in it. So um, so so it's just nice to see like how the world is being more aware, more open um, to that. Like, you know, we are as talented, we are as equal, and uh, we can contribute as positively as everyone else in the world. And I think the uh, the theme of, of Black History Month this year is about inspiration and, you know, people who have inspired you, girls, boys, whoever it may be. Um, mm. For yourself, what do you, who was the, the athlete or the sports person when you were growing up that in, inspired you to be, you know, what you became and what you are today? For me, growing up, well, because obviously, like, growing up for me, like, there was not a lot of football, women's football in particular on TV, uh, but there was a lot of, you know, just male football. And the first time I fell in love with soccer was in 1998 FIFA Men's World Cup, and I fell in love with Terry Henry and Zidane Zidane. So those two guys are... Uh, are the reason why I fell in love with soccer. And like, when I watch them, I feel inspired. I feel motivated. I just feel like I want to float on the field, like the way they do. Of course I didn't, I did not float on the field. I was a completely different player. But uh, but those two guys, you know, just like as a female footballer that I was like, wow, I love how they play. And I studied them. I would watch them often. Watching them just brought me so much joy. And just like after I would watch them and then I would want to grab the ball and go outside and practice what they did on the field. I think as well, when you look at your own career, and we talked before about sitting back and reflecting on what you've done and, and where you've been. I think a lot of people will have known your story when you're at Glasgow City. It was something that was um, publicised in BBC Sport and a lot of the websites and obviously through ourselves as well. When you look back now, do you feel like, you know, you have become a role model as well for young uh, young girls and young boys? Yeah. Um, you know, role model is such a, a tricky and difficult, difficult thing. I just hope that I was able to inspire anyone both male and female that like you know no matter where you come from no matter how you grow up that anything is possible with hard work dedication and consistency um and that um nothing in life is a given and that um you know whatever you want you're gonna have to work work for it um you know there's very you get the talent is given but the the hustle and 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 perfecting that talent that's a, that's sold separately so um so yeah just like anyone from any background to look at me uh that like not none of it was easy but it was definitely worth it and it was definitely earned by a lot of hard work Odie, that was perfect thank you very much i hope you're awesome. awesome awesome thank you Thank you, thank you, thank you.